we are continuing with the work, the capital asset pricing model. We are first with work, the cost of equity. We know the cost of equity, we have constant dividend, good dividend amounts, the upper which is what the capital asset pricing model. So we are now with the constant dividend number and the good dividend. We now move on towards the capital asset pricing model. It still falls under what? The cost of equity. So let me come to this side. Okay. So the capital assets pricing model, which is the paper, there's a formula. We have this. K is called RF plus beta into market. R minus RF. K is cost of equity. It's the same as return, required rate of return. RF, where RF is risk free. Sometimes when you see risk free, you say guilt or guilt. It's the same thing. The same as RF, I go. You might also see dredging though, instead of either the jolt or the x free, it's still the same as the RF. Okay. Then we beat I start for systematic risk of what? Investment. Now with the RF, it stands for risk market portfolio. Um, risk market portfolio or the average return of the market. Sometimes we didn't be given the RM, we didn't be given the RF. We just be given the whole of what's in the bracket like this R minus R either what market risk premium or what equity risk premium so in certain instance whereby you see market risk premium or equity risk premium it stands for what the whole of what the R and what the RF I go okay so let's start with the question question one the current average market return being paid on risky investment is 12 percent compared with 5 percent from treasury bills where Joshua Kuzu has a beta of 1.2 what's the cost of equity for Prez Joshua Akuzu I go so you have been asked for what cost of equity so you stay down our uh, formula we have this so K R F plus beta R minus R F now let's do the information. We're giving. So now we know RF is what? Either RF is free, guilt or guilt or treasure group. So let's come and check the question. If you are going to find anything like this, so from this side, the current average market return being paid on risky investment is 12 percent compared with 5 percent on treasure group, meaning that RF is what? 5 percent. So RF 5 percent. So 0.05. The next one, beta. Prejudice and also has a beta of 1.2. So beta, 1.2. RM. What does RM stand for? RM stands for risk market portfolio or average return on the market. So let's check the info. The current average market return being paid on risky investment is what? 12%. Meaning that RM is what? 12%, so I am 12%. So we have 0.12. So now let's substitute the information in what? The equation. So let's start. So K is what? R 0.05, 0.05, sorry. Plus beta 1.2. R 0.12 RF 0.05 Okay, so we have K 0.05 plus 1.2. Let's start the bracket first. 0.12 minus 0.05. We have 0.07. Okay, so K is 0.05 plus 1.2 times 0.07. We have 0.084. So now let's add them together. 0.084 plus 0.05. 0.08. So we have 0.1. Remember the cost of equity and cost of debt. After you've got your final answer, you send it into what percentage with the exception of price. Okay, so now we have K. Okay. So that's in percentage so times 100. 13.4 percent. 
to be called a capital asset pricing on the best of the about We are being given a question on that. It's not always that you'll be given the RF in the area, like this particular question, whenever we're giving area, we're giving area. Sometimes we didn't see the area, we didn't see the area, we just stated the question that the market risk premium is this, or the equity risk premium is that, I do. So with that one, you just put that figure straight here, I do. We didn't use this, we just put that number in here. We we'll try and see if we get a question like that, and also work on that. So this is basically the first question on the capital asset price model. So we we'll solve another question. Capital assets pricing model, which is the buffet. Okay, question two. Commissioner Water is currently paying a return of 9% on equity investment. If the return on yield is currently 5.5% and the average return on the market is 10.5%, compute the beta of Commissioner Water and explain your results. So we have this capital. Which is the capital? If you have G E is equal to R F plus beta. R F minus R F. Now let's take the question. Commissioner Water is going to pay a return of nine percent on equity investment, meaning K is nine percent. So K nine percent is zero point zero nine. We are giving beta. We are asked to rather find for beta. So question mark. Let's take R. If the return on guilt is currently 5.5%, we know R is risk free. Either risk free, guilt or what? Treasury bill. So we have guilt here, so 5.5%. So we have 5.5%. 0.055. Okay. And the average return on the market is 10.5. So R average market return or average market portfolio. So R is 10.5%. So 10.5%. So 10.5. 0.10. Now we get to give the information from what the question being given. So we now substitute this into what? In the form and then we just solve it. That's all. So let's start. So we have K 0 0.09. See what R 0 0.055 plus beta. We don't have a beta, that's that. R 0.105. R 0 0.055 this is it. Okay. So we have 0 0.09 0 0.055 plus beta. Okay. Let's solve the one in the bracket for 0 0.105 minus 0 0.055. We have 0 0.05. Now 0 0.09 is equal to 0 0.055 plus 0 0.05 beta. What are we looking for? We are looking for beta. So what then do we do? We group like here. So we are going to maintain the beta here. 0.05 beta. We have 0 0.09 here. Okay. So now we have this. We move it to the other side. So we have minus 0 0.055 okay. so 0 0.05 beta is equal to so we put it 0 0.09 minus 0 0.055 we have 0 0.035 we are looking for beta so we divide both over the two percent of what beta so we have that 0 0.05 Zero point zero five. So beta is what? Zero point zero three five divided by zero point zero five. We have zero point seven. So that is the beta we were asked to calculate or find for. 
They said, and explain your results. So, a bit, uh, that's how we explain the result. Sorry. A beta of 0 0.7 signifies signifies the risk inherent of the investment. So that's how we explain it. A beta of 0 0.7. Signifying the risk inherent to the investment. 